Hey guys, I've got another repair video for you. It's raining outside, so I'm going to do this one inside the garage. Uh, what we've got here is a situation where the windshield wiper arm has uh, came out of the track and is laying against the rearview mirror here. This could either be a very easy or a very hard repair, but in order to figure it out, we're going to have to do some disassembly. So the first thing we're going to do is going to come over here and we're going to remove this arm and the other one on the other side. And we remove this arm. Just need a regular flathead screwdriver. There's a little clip here. So we'll get in here and just work this clip out. And then as you work that clip out, you'll be able to remove the arm. So I'm going to bend it back a little bit here. Let's see if we can just get it to wiggle off. Sometimes if they've been on here a really long time, it can be tough to get off. But that's all there is to it. Just be patient and it eventually will come off. The next thing you got to do is we got to get this trim plate off so that we can see inside where the wiper track is. There's a series of Phillips screws. Starting with this piece on the end, you move this screw and, and this little guy will come right out. And there's a series of other Phillips screws as you go down. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I remove all these screws and I take the arm off the other side and then we'll pick it up after that. All right. After we get the screws out that are along the top, the Phillips screws, and we've removed the other arm, you're going to have to pop the hood. So underneath the hood, there's going to be two other screws that sit in each corner of this plate. You'll need a stubby type screwdriver like this to get them out. To save some time, I've already removed that screw from each side. Once those screws are out, then you can begin to remove this cover plate. Now what I did is I left the screws actually sitting in the plate after I loosened them, just to make it a little bit easier later. So slip it off on this side, off of uh, where, the, where the wiper attaches, and then slip it off on the other side, and then push it up on the dashboard. I'll walk over to the other side of the truck, and pop the other side out, and you'll see the whole thing move up. So now we can get this out of the way. Now you can't actually remove it because you've got the, 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 um, the hoses for the windshield wiper washer. But we can get it out enough to see what we're after here or where this thing is out of the track. So I'm going to move up over on this side a little bit. And now I'm going to close the hood so we can actually see what we're doing all this for is to look down in this track right here. Right here is what we're looking for. If you can see right down in here, I'm going to move the camera over and show you. There's a little cam right down in here that the wiper arm rides on. And what happens is, as you can see right here, what happens is it comes off. So I hope you guys can see that on, on the shot here. If not, I'll get a flashlight and show you later. But this is the cam that controls the driver's side arm, in this case the driver's side arm, and it has popped off this little stud. And the fix here is we're going to loosen up the two nuts that hold this down, we're going to re-lubricate it, we're going to re-tighten it down. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to go get a socket wrench and a socket that fits that and a little bit of lubricant, and also get a flashlight so you can see a better um, magnified shot of that. So let me come back in a second. All right guys, so hopefully the flashlight here and uh, putting the camera up above me uh, helps you out a little bit so as not to block the view. I'll, I'll tell you what I ended up doing, right? You get a 10 millimeter socket and you don't want to loosen up the uh, arm that's okay. Actually, you're going to do is you're going to make sure those are snug and tight. What you're going to do is loosen up the arm that came off. In this case, it was the driver's side. Enough so you can get it back on this stud. And you, you know where the alignment is here because you can see the indentation of where the nut was tightened down before, wherever you see the shiny metal. So you're just going to use the same positioning that was there before. So in this case, it means, you know, I'm going to move this guy around until he... gets into the right position. You can do that by just like grabbing the thing with your hand like I'm doing, or you could put the arm back on the, uh, on the mount point and, and do that. So now at this point, this is where this should sit. Now before I actually tighten this up, I'm going to take it back off again. 
What I like to do, I've done this repair on, on other trucks like this before, I like to put a little anti-seize compound on the ball itself. Uh, just, you know, it's less stress if it's lubricated, and as long as you get it tightened up and you don't get any of the stuff um, on the nuts that you're going to be tightening, this will actually extend the repair's life. All right, so now we're going to get this guy back on here. Get positioned exactly where he used to be. And then we're just going to tighten him up. I'm not going to super tighten it yet because I'm just doing a test fit here. Kind of looks like it's okay. And you can see, like right now, this thing moves around as it turns. It's going to go back and forth and back and forth. And what happens is this piece that we're tightening down actually wears over time. It's another reason to have the lubricant in there. You might have one that has completely cracked or broke, in which case you're going to have to take a trip to the salvage yard and scavenge another one, uh, or you know, or try to get another one from GM. Although I don't doubt they make these anymore. Um, if it hasn't wore that far, then you're just going to do what I did here, tighten it back on, lubricate it up, and, you know, it'll last as long as it lasts before you have to go and replace it. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure I cannot pop it off by hand. I'm moving it around. I'm pushing towards the dashboard while I do this. And I'm putting quite a bit of force on it. And it looks like it's good. So um, at this point, I'm going to tighten this guy up to, this, to um, secure it. And this repair is done. Now, while you're in here... And now there's no particular torque value at this point because since this thing has worn out uh, from, from use, the torque values would be insufficient anyway. I'm also going to tighten up the other one while I'm in here just to make sure that he's in position too, although this is very unlikely for the other one to give. It's always the driver's side, in my experience, that gives out. While you're in here, you can vacuum out a lot of this uh, debris. See, there's a lot of pine needles and stuff in mine and before you put the cover back on. And then just reverse the procedure we went through with the cover, and you're good to go. I hope this repair helps you out. Thanks for watching.